Hello, everybody here in here, and I'm with Lillian. Hey, guys. And welcome back to Nancy Drew, Danger on Deception Island. Now, we were told we got an email from Hilda. Which I somehow missed. Fair enough. Oh, we got some more emails from Hannah, too. Of course. Dear Nancy, your dad has been home for an hour and a half, and he's driving me nuts. No sooner had I cleaned the kitchen than he went in there and started baking himself waffles. The next thing I knew, there was flour, sugar, and some ingredient that I still can't identify all over everything. I've never seen such a mess. <laughs> What's more, he forgot to spray the waffle iron with oil and burned the first waffle so badly that the smoke alarm went off. He wound up making pancakes instead. He burned those too, but he ate them anyways. Now he's out jogging. He better stay out for a long, long time. Love, Hannah. I know people who cook like that. Fair enough. Dear Nancy, after your father took one of the longest showers in history, naturally I had just cleaned the bathroom, he decided he needed a project, so he went to the store and came back with everything he needs to build a bookshelf for the family room. This, as we both know, is not good. Your father is the worst handyman I've ever seen. <laughs> when I told him that I'd help, he said he wouldn't hear of it and shooed me out of the room. He's obviously forgotten what happened when he tried to fix the disposal. It's very quiet in there. I think he's about to start hammering. As you would say, this is so not good. Love, Hannah. <laughs> Something from Hilda. Hi, Nancy. I blew. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I left something for you at the coordinates below. As you can see, some of the numbers in the coordinates have been replaced by letters. N4842.abc, West 12308 de To figure out what uh, numbers the letters represent, take a good look at these equations. A. Number of nuns surrounding Snake Horse Harbor. B. The ID number of buoys that, of the buoy that's got graffiti on it. C. The number of isophase buoys surrounding Snake Horse Harbor plus four. D. How many dollars Jenna charges for a cup of clam chowder? And E. Number of Karens in the tunnel. You're just the kind of person I was hoping to find. Smart, resourceful, tenacious, and curious. Keep it up. H. So. So the A, B, and C. Are related to things within right snake horse um, harbor what is a nun do you remember that is a good question i think i do remember if i recall it is the even numbered buoys okay is what my brain's saying but that, uh, we might be able to ask uh like jenna or, uh, or even um Katie? Katie. That's her name. Yeah, Katie What's up? Nope. See you in Katie a don't know. Be careful out there. And then isophase? Uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, do you remember the green buoys out there? Uh, vaguely. I could be wrong on that. Um, uh, I can't remember exactly what isophase are either. So we'll uh, have to... <sighs> I honestly... Um, isophase has to do with the light on the buoy. Oh, does it? I don't remember what, but it has something to do with the light. You again? See you around. Okay, you Yo, have ho, nothing ho. to say? I don't have time to talk right now. Sorry. Okay, cool. how much is your clam chowder? Uh... Uh, f what did she say? A cup? Uh, it says a cup. Okay, so three dollars. So, so that's three. D three. So we have D and E already, so we already have that half of it. Right. And the other three we're finding in the harbor. Yeah. Hey, hold them. Sneaking in your bag. You don't have anything. No. Is there a book in here that talks about? I think the only book in here. Yeah, it's dungeon. Oh, that's where you learn about oh, dungeon scraps. That's right. They look identical. Uh, the female's oh, got I a see, batter. I see. Yeah. Yep. The abdomen. Yeah, because this just is, oop, this is just the signals and the uh, military communication. I guess it's the international communication. Right. Alphabet. Same one the military uses, though. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, that just has the book on the, um, what's my who's it's? So the dead fish I saw on the beach were Atlantic herring? Weird. We're at the Pacific. Yeah, no wonder it. They probably died. They probably couldn't handle being in the Pacific. Well, we could go to Whale World. Yeah. It's about the only place I could think to go. Oh, 
Hi, Nancy. Someone broke into the hot kettle today. No kidding. Wow, that's the third one this week. Hmm. Jenna said the sheriff is baffled. So what else is new? Thanks for your time. Drop Maybe by there again. was something on that DI portal? Maybe. Because we've been through here too. It's the only thing I can think of. Probably just didn't look close enough. It's entirely some, possible. I would have thought we could have asked someone. Right. Let's see here. I decided to look up the the word isophase to oh, see if there's a thing you can click on. Gotcha. Terms. terms? Seems accurate. Uh, this is where it would tell you um like some, oh, port none lines isophase none so isophase a pattern utilized by some lighted buoys where the light is on and off for equal intervals right on two is, seconds off two seconds which is why i when i looked it up I, none a red even numbered buoy that marks the left side of a channel leaving a harbor so it's a red even numbered buoy Gotcha. So we need to know the number of red even numbered buoys and then buoys that have uh blinky lights that blink for even amounts of time and the number on the graffiti buoy right who the boat buoys see if we couldn't kill ourselves somehow <laughs> eight is graffitied eight, eight is also yes eight is graffitied Eight is also a nun. So, one nun so far. Six is a nun. Is okay. not an isophase, though. Past one, somehow. Twelve is a nun as well as it's an isophase cool it's equal time on and off i'm tallying both things i need to get to that one <laughs> isn't that 10. might be because we saw eight and then 12. seems like we're missing one seems like it's got to be on that side of the thing and I just missed it somehow. There's a channel marker. Katie said not to go past them. Okay. Just moves a lot further than I expect her to. Maybe I can go out this way. Nope. That's definitely 10. It's not an isophase, but it is an even number. Okay, I'll so mark that would it. Be that, um, I think that's all of the red buoys. Yeah, because these are green. And none of these are going to be isophase. Okay. So we've got one isophase, so plus four is five. Okay. So C is five. And then A should be four. A should be four, so it's four, eight, five? Yeah, four, eight, five. Okay, can we bring up the... Should be able to. Who's it's what's it's? Make new. Okay. So, uh, four, eight. Or I guess you have to do the end, don't you? Probably. No, I can't. Maybe not. I, uh, no. four, two. Oop. It's probably gonna screw uh, it. Four, eight, five. And then W, one, yeah. two, three. Zero eight seven three five. Oh, it allowed it. Cool. Okay, so it's south and towards the harbor. Feels like Probably about this far south. Anymore. Oh. Okay. I'm in line with it, so two. Oh, hey, found it. 
Zaptec Transmitter Waterproof Model 9. I don't know when it opens yet. Fair enough. Hello? Speak of the devil. Hello, Nancy. I commend your ability to take direction and to follow through. You're definitely a cut above. And for that, you've just been rewarded. What am I supposed to do with this thing? You're to take it with you. But for now, listen carefully. I hope you like poems. <clears throat> Below ground is a rock with a strange anvil look. Kay. When you're near it, behold what's above. Letters found at the beach will put a new spot in reach. Letters only a sailor could love. Oh, my apologies, dear. I'm many things, but I'm afraid I'm not much of a poet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Do you watch everyone in Snake Horse Harbor? Is that how you know something fishy is going on? I'm a very curious person. I like to know things. Let's just leave it at that. Ah, let's see, where was I? Ah, the device you just found. It'll come in handy when you get where you're going after you've gone where my poem takes you. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, no, please don't hang up. I've got so many questions. <laughs> okay. Phil does not want for answering No. So, oh, sounds like we gotta go back to the hot kettle. Yep. Or to the lighthouse. Uh, hot kettle's probably easier. Is it? Because I think the anvil's closer to the lighthouse, maybe. First, I have to get out of the water. <laughs> Fair enough. Where am I? In the harbor. Well, obviously. <laughs> am I being helpful yet? Isn't it that? Jellyfish. Yeah, there you go. There's the dock. That's confusing. It is very It's the first time I've actually gotten confused with that this playthrough. Um so I think the lighthouse is closer because you have to go through the cutscene of walking do before, you? I'm pretty sure. I thought it was before that. I think it's after. No, because it's just no, 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 no. No? I'm pretty sure. I'll eat crow if I'm wrong, but okay. I'm, I'm almost a thousand percent sure. Uh, three, four, seven, five. Is the way I came in. Seriously? Yep. We can't go back that way. Well, that's dumb. That is dumb. I agree. Huh. So we can get through the tunnel to there, but they've made it to where you can't backtrack. Well, that's ridiculous. <laughs> it would have been so much faster. Now we get the ride on a bike. Yep. And then walk all the way back. <laughs> yep. We're getting the sketchy music. Yeah, it's it's sketchy. Not a fan. Who's gonna murder us today? Hey, game. <laughs> this is why you and I can't be friends. <laughs> This game is sassy. So left? Is this the, the from there? Left? Uh, no. That's the shop. Nope. Yeah. I don't know what those... It's gotta be to something else. Wait, what did I... Where did I miss the turn? Eh? Where it's is not the this turn? Way. That leads to another shop. But that just leads to a cairn. Oh, it's right there. No, that's that one. I... 
That just leads to that shop. Oh, wait, no. No, no, no that's a wall. Is there another? Are we being gaslit by this game right now? We came in here before. <laughs> and I know we went this way. I'm not blind, am I? Oh, it's just... It's hiding. So you were correct, it is through this way, but the only way we could get there is uh, the other way. Yeah. There's an opening up there. It goes to another tunnel. Oh, this is the, the, that. Okay, so left, right, right, left. What, what, were those the two rights? It might have been. Left. 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 Right. 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 Left, 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 right, right, left, 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 left. And forty-eight, forty-two dot five five five. Sorry, not five five dot five two two. West one third one twenty three oh eight seven ninety nine. No signal. Can't can't do it so here. So press the thingy. No, I think that means we have to be there. Oh. That looks like the device I found yeah. in the buoy. Gotcha. We just need to be at those coordinates to do it. But we can't. You got those written down? Yes. Oh, heck. I'm going to get lost in these caves, aren't I? Maybe just a little. Aha! You did it! We can actually... Yeah. Well, we can go this way. This way. Get me so out of here. it locks behind us. Yep. How convenient. All of those lever ones do. No signal. Since I came in through the tunnel, oh my gosh. it looks like I can't get out through the lighthouse. Uh, oh, thank God. Have to go back this way. At least it didn't lock us in between the two. Yeah, I think the game's smart enough for that. <laughs> Is it? Is it? Uh, I think that would have been a soft lock. They would have patched at some point if they didn't. Fair. To begin with. I could see people getting soft locked there. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay. Back to the boat. Back to the boat. Yep, the boat. Okay, now can we do it? Yes, we can. Hooray! Okay, okay so, so 48, 48, 42, 42 522, uh, uh, 123, whoop. Nope. Uh, 08, 799. So that's like straight out? No, straight into the right. Yeah. Let's go! Back in the kayak. Luckily, I don't need to keep these uh, coordinates after we program them, program them in. Yeah. Okay, do I need to be on this side of the buoys or the other side? The other side. Close my ammo right on top of it. Uh, press the button. Oh, that's right. It's a device. It's a box! Binoculars. Some strange binoculars. Hilda? Uh-oh, I'm getting predictable. This really will be our last conversation. Oh, I hope not. I'd really like to meet you. I'm afraid that's not going to happen. So, here you are in the home stretch. Uh, okay. You mean I'm never going to get any kind of explanation? Oh, that's not fair. Okay, look, when I made my exit from Snake Horse Harbor, I left everything behind. You know, to kind of prove that I'd lost all my marbles. 
problem is, I left behind something that I realize now I should have taken with me. My notebook on Benjamin Hawkins. Someone has obviously found it and is misusing it. See, my husband and I explored every inch of land in, around, and under Snake Horse Harbor. What we discovered, and we discovered everything. We wrote down in that notebook. Hmm. So this fishy thing that's going on, you feel like it's your fault. Precisely. So, use what I just gave you and take a look at the boat in the bottle that Andy has. A really good look. When the time comes, you'll know what to do with what you see. Okay. But something just doesn't make sense to me. Why do you want everyone to think you're crazy when you're obviously not? Oh, Nancy. After my husband died, I just got bored. I love the sand walls, but the people of Snake Horse Harbor, I got tired of them. So I moved across the channel. And to make sure people me. left me Fair alone. Enough. You pretended to be nuts. But then I got to thinking that it might be a good idea to make contact with someone trustworthy, just in case. Hence the messages in the bottles. Now, get going before it's too late. And what I just told you, keep it to yourself, okay? Sure. So you won't be calling me anymore? No. This, as they say in the business, is a wrap. Well, I've enjoyed knowing you. And I you. Thank you, Nancy. Goodbye, Hilda. Okay, then. My brain died for a minute. What are we supposed to do now? I have to go look at Andy's ship with the binoculars. Gotcha. The ship in the bottle that uh, she gave him. No oh, whale world. Yep, because someone's misusing her notes on Benjamin Hawkins. Yeah. I probably don't need this left right business anymore. Nope, probably not. Andy, <laughs> you've got some explaining to do. All right, what are we missing? Yeah, I don't know. Do we need to go? Um, do we need to go into some sea caves on the kayak? Mm, I don't think so. We've no. already been in the sea caves on the kayak. Yeah, may as well. We could also probably talk to Katie if nothing else pans out. Or we can get a hint as to what we're missing from Bess and George. Yeah, that's true. Let's try that. Uh. Start there, I guess. Hello? <laughs> hey, Bess. Oh, Nancy, it is such a bummer that you're not here. Why? Because she won't stop cooking. As usual, George is exaggerating. She's in the process of cooking a 10-course dinner, Nancy. 10 very tasty, very healthy, very small courses. Anyway, <laughs> it's too bad you're not here to enjoy them. So what's the latest? <laughs> um, I can sure use a hint when it comes to those dials on the ledge in the See, sea we've cave already seen beneath the, sea the lighthouse. Cave. Maybe you should do what Hilda said and use those tinted glasses she left for you to take a look at the boat in the bottle Andy okay. has. Okay, yeah. Maybe what you see will tie in with those dials somehow. Give it a whirl, Nance. It might just open up all sorts of possibilities. We figured I that much. I better get going. Me too. I gotta go braise my brisket. Whatever. But Their Andy voices is sound gone. off in this one. Yeah, a little bit. You know, we haven't called the Hardy Boys in a few games. <laughs> I think it was the last game. I don't know that we called Hello. them last game. Hi, Frank. It's Nancy. Hey, Joe, lock her up and then get to a phone. It's Nancy. He's locking someone up? Goldie, she's not a someone. She's a something. Hey, Nancy. How's life in the Pacific Northwest? Well, someone ransacked Katie's boat just before I arrived. Wow, that's great. <laughs> Yeah, I, I knew, knew you were, were going to say that. that. She's got a mystery to solve. She's supposed to be on vacation. Crime never takes a vacation, Frank. Let me guess. That was Goldie. Bingo. She's this dog we found. We're waiting for her owner to come get her. That's nice of you guys. Well, unfortunately, there's a problem. <laughs> she eats a lot and she's not housebroken. She's as big as an SUV. Fully loaded. She's in the garage. I'm upstairs. That's how big her <laughs> bark is. So you can imagine how big she is. What kind of dog is she? Great Dane. Yikes! Ooh. How does somebody go about losing a Great Dane? <laughs> Good question. Enough about us. Let's hear about this case of yours, Nancy. Uh, any hints, guys? 
Oh. I could sure use a hint when same. it comes to those dials on the ledge in the sea cave beneath the lighthouse. Maybe this is where the thing Hilda left you in that underwater cache does its thing. Use what she left you to check out the boat at Andy's. It'll be clear sailing once you figure out what symbols match up on those dials. Give it a spin and who knows what might happen. You guys Talk are a lot later. of help. Bye, Nancy. See you around see, the compass. I feel like we needed to see something before Andy Looks comes like somebody's back. running for harbor master. So we tried talking with people here. May as well. We're already here. I don't think they're going to say you anything. Again? I'm pretty sure I saw a couple of dead Atlantic herring on the beach earlier today. Is that possible? Nope. You may have seen Pacific herring, but not Atlantic herring. No way. But they matched the picture I saw on that postcard over there perfectly. Because Atlantic herring are found only in the Atlantic. Trust me, I spent five years fishing for them. We'd catch them by the hundreds, freeze them, and sell them to aquariums and such. To aquariums? You mean to feed to other fish? Or to sea mammals? Of course. What else would they do with them? Bring them back to life and put them on exhibit? <laughs> Look, I don't know how it is where you're from, but up here, seeing two dead fish on a beach isn't no one knows exactly where Nancy's front page from. news. Let it go. The assumption's Illinois, but... See you around. Yo, ho, ho. Or the Midwest somewhere. River Heights. Hi, Nancy. No, How's it going? State. River Heights isn't a real place. Right, it isn't. Jenna, is there something you're not telling me about that tunnel I found? My family has always denied that Shanghai ever took place in Snake Horse Harbor. Why? Because it did take place. And my great-great-grandfather, the man who built this place, he was a big part of it. I I'd have. always been told that the tunnel he and his cohorts used to kidnap people had been filled in. And Aunt Iris said nothing to me about that trap door you found. If word gets out about that tunnel, the truth about my great-great-grandfather will come out eventually, too. I just wanted to spare my parents' feelings. Fair sure. enough. It's been fun talking to you. Later, Gator. Okay. Whale world again? I guess. Just reminds me of a, a story I heard on Reddit the other day where uh op described that um when his father was young living in texas uh he and a couple of his siblings got uh kidnapped to go work on a, a cotton farm in Tex texas i think mm -hmm. um and his older brother uh traveled by like train or by foot and this was like in the uh the 1930s gotcha. um traveled all the way there to go get them back and rescued a bunch of other kids that had also been kidnapped to go work on the cotton farms. So, when this game's talking about people getting shanghai onto a boat, it just reminded me of poor little kids getting kidnapped to go work on a farm. Yeah, that happened. Uh, three, four, five, seven, five? just trying to think of I feel like there's a there's something that should have happened before we got to this point you feel like so yeah because I know there's two things that are supposed to happen before the end game and I was thinking the second one should have happened by now but I'm wondering if it's the first one that should have happened fair enough I don't know how we're supposed to solve this if we can't get to the ship yeah, I don't know 100% either. Even when the game is telling us we need to look at the ship in order to solve this. Do we mess around with this and see if Nancy says anything about... I mean, we could... I mean, I'm not going to know anything with this. There's... Right. I can't even do anything. It doesn't appear. And it doesn't seem like it's moving. Oh. oh. So it's the center that you have to click. But I'm not going to know what to line those up with. Right. Let's see if we've... I mean, we could go 
look at Nancy's checklist on her laptop? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. It's kind of the only thing I can think of at this point to try to speed things along. Did we already try talking to Katie? Not just now. Fair. What's up? See you in a bit. Enjoy. I don't have anything to say. So I guess the checklist. Has Casey ever? Have we ever talked to Casey? I don't think about so. The wood? I don't think he ever got back to us about that. <laughs> Maritime Library. This is Casey. Hi. This is Nancy Drew. Any luck finding what shipwreck that piece of driftwood came from? Sorry, can't talk now. I'm waiting for a real important call from Nancy Drew. Casey, that's me. I'm Nancy Drew. Oh. Then I got some good news. You know the name of the shipwreck? The SS Whitechapel Dawn. Sank five years ago right there in the channel outside Snake Horse Harbor. About a mile and a half due northwest of the lighthouse. Really? I hear that channel up there's been pretty busy. What with that orphaned whale messing things up for the fishermen and all. Anyway, everything fits except one thing. I knew it was too good to be true. The Whitechapel Dawn went down in deep water. Real deep water. Too deep for currents to be carrying debris up from it. Just not possible. Uh, what about I don't know. volcanic activity? Maybe it sank on top of an undersea vent or something. I've been doing this type of research for 20 years, young lady. When I say something's not possible, it's not possible. Yet somehow a piece of wood from it washed ashore. Hmm. What are the other options? Kind of ship and unusual. Was there ship. anything unusual about that ship? It was just a regular old freighter bound for San Francisco from Vancouver, British Columbia. Nothing unusual about it if you don't count the rumors. What rumors? How about the smuggling? Hmm? The ship was smuggling something? After it sank, some crew members said there was something unusual about the cargo it had been carrying. That's all. No specifics, just rumors. Fair enough. But what are the rumors? How many people went down with the ship? Zero. Everybody managed to survive. Official really? cause was foul weather. But whenever a boat goes down in those parts, they always unofficially blame it on... Oh, what do they call that sea serpent up there? Caddy? No, thanks. Caddy! That's what they call it. Caddy! Anyway, <laughs> this has been fun, young lady, but I need to get back to work. Uh, by the way, I just got done emailing you something. Okay. What? I said... I just got done emailing you something. Great, thanks. <laughs> well, goodbye, Casey. Goodbye, Caddy. That's probably what we were missing. Operate heavy machinery. I mean, he works at some kind of Where's like library all this thing. Water coming from? Oh. Well, with that, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. We'll explore <laughs> the water next time. Bye, guys. Bye.